you, was there would be a community of artists. Okay, you know, I had lived in Bombay for many years before that, uh, and back and forth between New York and Bombay. But one of the things that was really, really, it is important to me is art. And one of the things that I noticed about the arts community in Bombay, because the nature of the city and the massive size of the city and the traffic and everything, you know, it's a real scatter shop. You know, Bombay is a real scatter shop, and the artists aren't really anywhere. You know, in New York, at least you know you can find them in Brooklyn or in downtown, uh, or you know, maybe even Queens now. It's too expensive in Brooklyn, uh, or you know, in Paris, where I also come from. You can find them maybe like in the Sixth Arrondissement more, or like you know, up in the Perrault. But here, you know, artists are everywhere, but somehow art isn't living everywhere, and that that bothers me. Um, so, with our little space and our very uh, you know humble beginnings. We have ambitious dreams, and those are that you know, artists can call this place home. And the reason we decided when we sat down to talk about this under the tin roof thing, hence the tin roof, um, we really could not think of a better name. That was it. I said it off the cuff, and someone's like, "That's good." And I'm like, "Really? That's bad, actually." But um, the truth is, is that uh, you know, one of the things that we were hoping for is that we could bring people together. And very quickly, we started talking about theater. We started talking about comedy. We started talking about you know workshops and then I was like guys I'm a filmmaker we probably saw some movies so you know so very quickly it became a performing arts festival and you know one of the things that's really important to, to, to us here is that everybody who walks through the door is members of our studio who train with us or just people who come for to see, to, to see something partake in the venue that you think of this as a home that you think of this as a place where you can walk in anytime and truly you can walk in anytime um, if we're in the middle of a deep relaxation, you might find it a little spooky and weird because the lights are off and people are doing weird stuff. But I promise it, it only lasts a half hour. Um, but what's really important to us is that you understand that this is a place that we want to be like almost like a community center. And you know, today, screening is part of a festival. But if any of the filmmakers here, or if any of you are friends who are filmmakers, if any of you are artists, painters, photographers, comedy, stand-up, uh, theater, live performance art, whatever, Please ask us to use our menu. It's not a problem and it's free. It's free of charge. We want you to show your movies here. We want you to partake in using our space. That's really important because the arts need to live. They need to breathe. I'm not suggesting that on our little corner of Hill Road we're gonna turn this into, you know, Bombay's Art Center, but I'm suggesting that, you know, the revolution, it's a bit pretentious, starts with at least one gunshot. So um, so the Undertaker Festival was born of that spirit, and today and tomorrow we're screening films, uh, which of course is extremely near and dear to my heart, because ultimately I am a filmmaker myself. And one of the things that I have noticed in my six years of living on and off in Bombay is that the monolith of Bollywood is actually paper thin, and that there are some unbelievably, absolutely, outrageously talented incredible storytellers here. And unfortunately, the way the market works, there's not that much space, there's not that many walls that are willing to show their films. And that's really a tragedy. And like I tell my students all the time, when an independent film is released in the cinema, or you hear about an independent film being screened, or you are invited to a short film screening, you, more than anyone else, has a responsibility to go. Because any filmmaker can tell you there is nothing more exciting than when people watch your movie. You know, people always get excited about, you know, I want 10 lakh hits on YouTube. I'm always shocked that 10 people I don't know watch a movie I made. That freaks me out. 10 people on the planet Earth I've never met watched my movie. <laughs> and then they come like, yeah, I didn't like it. I'm like, yes, they have an opinion. You know, I mean, that, 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 that's special. And I think that in the world today, where we're so used to hearing about huge numbers and, you know, the tsunami of this and viral that and blah and blah and blah, I think we've lost touch with what's really important, which is sharing and sharing good stories. And the whole idea of the film screening series was simply just to give filmmakers the chance to just show a bunch of people they may or may not know their movie. That's it. And also, the second most exciting thing in the world, after having someone who hasn't seen your movie watch, who doesn't know you watch your movie, there's another very exciting thing, is watching it on screen. That is an irreplaceable feeling. Now, I know many of us watch our movies and our YouTube clips on our phones, 
But I assure you, I have yet to meet a filmmaker who's like, all right, let's make it this big. All right? <laughs> we all think in 70 millimeter, okay? Anamorphic is our favorite lens. Um, so what I mean to say is this, is that, you know, it's very exciting. And one thing that I just want to end with is, you know, if you are a lover of cinema, if you are a lover of stories, if you are a lover of films, today in India is the most exciting time to be a cinephile, like we say in French, a lover of films. Because it is actually changing. When I came here in 2006, everyone was like, it's changing. And I was like, not so much. When I came back in 2009, everyone was like, it's changing. I'm like, not so much. In 2015, it really is. Independent cinema is really actually starting to find an audience. And the Bollywood junta that runs this place is, come on in, come on in. Throw it over there, all right? The muffins and tea are here. Uh, the Bollywood junta that runs this place is actually desperate for storytellers. They're looking for content because you, the audience, want content. You have the democracy and the power to change it with your 300 and your 400 and your 500 bucks at the cinema. You know, if they're gonna throw money into movies and lose all their money, they're gonna understand real quickly that that's not working anymore. So, as a film lover, a lover of cinema, which, look, I'm a filmmaker, but first and foremost, I love movies, okay? And you have to put your money where your mouth is. And we have to let producers know that there is room for good content, thoughtful storytelling. And that the reality is, is that today, people don't just want good stories, they want their stories, stories about people that look like you, that live your lives, okay? It's real wonderful and terrific to watch Whiplash and Birdman and American cinema or European cinema. And they're wonderful, wonderful movies. But India has absolutely an ocean of stories and an ocean of great storytellers. And it is our job as lovers of this art to support that. So without further ado, I will now shut up. All right, uh, if anyone in between films would like some chai, there will be chai over here. Uh, let me know, we'll, we'll set up the price later. The muffins, where are the muffins? Okay, you need to bring the muffins. The muffins are on their way, apparently. But without further ado, let's enjoy the films. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna man someone at the door to make sure that we don't burn the place down and ruin your films. I know that two of the filmmakers are with us today, so if anyone would like to speak to the filmmakers afterwards, and also that's very important as well, is for a filmmaker, it is so cool when a human being tells us what they think of our movie, all right, that's like a that's like the specialist feeling in the whole world. Okay, you know, because sometimes when you make a film, unlike the other arts, you feel like you're shooting arrows in the dark, and it feels nice sometimes when they hit. Home. So, enjoy the movies. Thank you very much for coming, and I'll shut up now, and we just uh, turn the lights off and man the door.